Okay, so we are recording on the GoPro uh, Hero 4. Uh, the sound is going into the GoPro Hero 4. And we are also recording on the Theta S360 camera. So, let's see how this goes. I don't know what the battery life is like on these things. So I'll have to wait and see what happens. Okay, a pair of gloves. So well, let's open the gate first. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this does. Okay, so the Theta 360 camera uh, is sitting on the front of my bike. It looks like it's wobbling around a bit, so I'm not so sure how good the quality is going to be. Um, but this will be a test to see whether it actually gives out any data at all, um, what it looks like. And if, it, if it's good, then maybe I'll make a 3D mount to keep that nice and secure on the bike. Um, or maybe I'll have to buy a gimbal for it to keep it nice and level. These speed bumps are not helping it very much. Uh, one more. Okay, so in theory, if this 360 camera is working, you should be able to, on YouTube, um, put your mouse on the video and move it around, um, which enables you to see all around me. So in theory, you can see what I see. Um, whether you'll be able to see my speedo or not, I don't know, but in theory, you'll be able to see what I see. Um, that means you can look straight at me, <laughs> hi there, um, or you can look straight ahead, or you can look from side to side, you can look through people's windows, um, you can do whatever you want. I got a few strange looks from people, what the hell are you doing with that thing on the front of your bike? Are you a strange man? Here we go. Whoa! So now you can see yourself, probably. Well, not yourself. If you could see yourself, that would be amazing technology. But you can see the Theta camera probably in the reflection of my visor. And oh. So this is wobbling around quite a lot, actually. It looks like the vibration on the front of the bike will just be too much for it. Um, so what's the solution? Uh, put it on my helmet so that my body takes up the most of the... Uh, the vibration but then if you put it on a helmet every time I move my head it's gonna move the 360 um, and that's gonna make everybody sick so I'm not sure what the solution is because um, the bikes always gonna vibrate I think possibly if the video footage isn't any good um, then a gimbal will be the only way I bet you he can't see me here Jeez, about 57 again so hard to keep this below 50. I am trying, I promise. Drilling more holes, to put in more poles, to put in more speed cameras, to make driving less fun for everybody on the roads. Thank you, Kent. Oh, she looks a bit grumpy. In her juke. That's pretty cool. Another biker. Do you know, it's funny, when you've got a camera on your face, 
bikers tend to wave more. Don't know why. Maybe they think it's because there's evidence that, you know, they're nice people. Okay, keep it around 50. still recording on the Theta. I wonder if it's still going. I could be talking all this time and the Theta could be off. We shall see. So um, on the app it says that the Theta has an hour's battery time but on the Theta itself it says it can do four hours. Um, I'm inclined to believe that it's the former, the hour, but as with all these things, you're never quite sure. I've got a spare battery for the GoPro, um, but I've also got a battery backpack on the, um, the GoPro, so that should last a little bit of time. But the Theta is all internal, so unless you plug in an external power supply to the Theta, um, I'm not sure what, it, what I'll be able to do. The other downside to the Theta is it's only got an 8 gig uh, memory capacity, and it hasn't got an expandable memory slot, so you're limited to that 8 gig. So I don't know how much it can capture. Um, you do have the option of going HD or Ultra HD on the Theta. Um, I would imagine if you just went for the standard HD, it would improve your uh, your videoing time. Um, I don't know, but eight gig doesn't seem like a lot. But then you know, if it gives me an hour, then that's great. You know, I could download it to my laptop. I could go out again if I'm on the TT track. Um, if it takes me an hour to get around it, that would be slightly embarrassing. Um, but of course, when I go around the TT track, it's going to be open to the public, so I am limited to the speeds that other people are going, but I should still be able to do it in less than an hour. Okay, this is the one we want, actually. So we'll take this one. And we want to come off on the first one. Okay, national speed limit. Ah, roundabout. Okay. That lorry wants to turn right. Let's keep an eye on him. Ooh. Look at that car, it's got a massive exhaust on it. It's been lowered. It's obviously spent some money on it. Yeah, the tires look like, oh. Tires look completely bald. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to keep you as level as I can. Oh, hello. Meow. Oh, careful. Nobody really knows what to do on this roundabout. Uh, let's stay in the fast lane, shall we? Oh no, you're going to turn left. You always worry when you get to the front of a line of traffic that you're going to store your bike or something. And then you just look like a complete tool. Because you've got cars either side of you that you've just sneaked in front of. Oh, big bump. 
Nearly lost you then. Oh, this road. I'll tell you what, it's got a camber in the road here where the lorries have basically worn the tarmac down. I wonder if I can get through this gap. Honk, honk. Let's give him a bit of space and we'll come in this way. Now, this is where I can't help but lean this little tiny roundabout. So you're going to have to come with me on this one. So close your eyes if you want to feel sick. Oh, more speed bumps. Nah, I don't want to lose the cameras. want to go. Oh, hello. This speed bumps. Oh, oh yeah. Look at all the people having a coffee out in the sun. Beautiful. Smile, you're on camera. That's a beautiful space. We'll take it. And there we go. Let's see what we've captured. Okay, I'll catch you later. Bye.